ಹರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ 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 ಹರಿ ಹೋ ಹರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ 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 ಹರಿ ಹೋ ಹರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ 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 ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ 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 ಹರಿ 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 ಗುರು ನಾರಾಯಣ 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 ಗುರು 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 ಎಸ್ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋಭ್ಯಕ್ಷು ಸದಿಯಂತರಭಾವೇಜಸ್ವಿ ತಮಸ್ತು ಗುರುಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರುದೇವ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಗುರವೇ ವಸುದೇವಸುತಂ ದೇವ ತಂ ಸೂರಭಕ್ತಂ ದೇವಕಿ ಪರಮಂತಂ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ತು ಸಮಸ್ತ ಜನ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣ ನಿರತಂ ಕರುಣಾಮಯ ನಮಿ ಚಿನ್ಮಯ ದೇವ ಭದ್ರಂ ಕನ್ನೇ ವಿಷ್ಣುಯಾಮ ದೇವಾ ಭದ್ರಂ ಪಶ್ಯೇಮಾಕ್ಷಿತ್ರಿರಂಗೈಸ್ತುವಾರಂಭಿ ವಿಷೇಮ ದೇವಹಿತ ಯದಾಯು ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿನೇಂದ್ರೋ ಬುದ್ಧಸ್ರಭಾಸ್ತಿಷ್ಟಾ ವಿಶ್ವೇದ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ಸ್ಥಾಕ್ಷೋ ಹರಿಷ್ಯನೇ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನೋ ಬೃಹಸ್ಪತಿ ದಾಹು ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಹರಿ ಓಂ
for all legitimate desires bhagavan has provided answers and they are common to all for all not so legitimate desires bhagavan says i have given you the brain i have given you the hands i have given you the things needed to work because they are not legitimate legitimate and common is to live forever and to be happy he says that i have provided for all and what more it's me i am inside it's me what you are saying i am inside but i am not only inside without a split second i am protecting all your systems even when you sleep i don't sleep otherwise how will the systems run wherever there are systems there has to be a systems manager wherever there are systems there has to be a systems manager you are sleeping who is managing you are sleeping why the roof could not fall you may say no it is scientific who put the scientific laws there they are all depending on certain laws man has not created the laws he has invented and used he has invented and used so who put the laws that it should not fall who is protecting i am doing it. why i am doing this not to claim royalty from you not to claim right to make you a good person because you are so ungrateful you are so ungrateful you don't recognize this and all the time working for things that have only sorrow for you ಅರ್ಥಮನರ್ಥಂ ಭಾವಯ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಾಸ್ತಿ ತಥಾಷ್ಟು ಇನ್ಸೆನ್ಸಿಟಿವ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೆನ್ಸಿಟಿವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆಂಟ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ನೋ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ರನ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ವೆರಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ have brought in agitations in you and when the agitation self stopped is there nothing no the one that supports the agitations me is there and what am i eternal immutable consciousness blissful that is me that is the real you you are so ungrateful to me you are all the time running after even that i can forgive you you are running after things forsaking me and want me to protect those things worldly things this is the first conviction you have to get worldly things can only give you sorrow can only give you sorrow if it is used for your ego satisfaction if it is used to serve the world as the lord that can bless that can bless all of us 8490 8490 how much time we spend on which president is good for india 8490 you you are living every day by the bonus what difference does it make to you which president is going to it's okay up to certain age our our shastras have provided for everything brahmacharya 
grihastha then what grihastha dharma also you know all these subjects have to be taken care worldly things everything but after you get the first grandson which may be 45 47 or 50 you are supposed to go to one of us it's not that they have ignored the society but they have clearly demarked it and what is the basis of all that first brahmacharya what is brahmacharya studying in gurukula what is studying in gurukula trying to teach you everything about god about material things the connection the necessity they teach both para and apara they teach both that is why having taught they say i have now taught you both you have the choice you can go and lead a dharmic grihastha ashram nothing wrong if you feel you have grown enough you can go as one of prastha or if you feel you are even more than that take sanyas they have given the choice grihastha ashram is not put down because it depends upon where the person is right so that being the case i had 84 90 we are all discussing see the two subjects people you know all were what they got super seniors super seniors discussing world things for what नहीं नहीं रक्षित डुक्रीन कर everybody wants to live forever it is also there you have to know that after that play your game first is that krishna was god he knew that after that he played all games all games means do not go by the filmy names rasalila and all that they do not know one who can understand rasalila is already god otherwise ordinary people cannot understand and if you want to understand january 2nd to 10th right so therefore krishna played all things when he has to cheat he cheated when he has to cheat he cheated when it is for others cheating becomes a dharma when it is for you dharma can become other that is the simple definition of dharma if it is for others adharma becomes dharma if it is for you dharma becomes adharma examples are in his own words he says the greatest person ever lived in, in the world bhishma mahar bhishma pita his vow his principle have become so important he has to side adharma right krishna for him world is important he didn't mind doing all things that are not acceptable right that is the meaning of sarva dharma parichit so va you have to find out this which is there all the time in you and not finding what is real happiness the real immortality you are running after things which take you to sorrow and death you what you want is immortality and happiness but you are running after sorrow and death our guruji beautifully says canvassing for brahman voting for maya canvassing for brahman voting for maya is so shameful so shameful 
So what is the solution? It says, as long as there are two, there cannot be security, there cannot be happiness. I told you, by extending it 15 minutes, I will finish before Bhagavatam. I'm sorry, I, have not, I cannot do it. Because there's so much in this mountain here to talk. I have to go beyond the January and maybe February it may end. But I don't want to compromise. It's a, such a beautiful text and beautiful subject. I don't want to compromise. Right? So, as long as there are two, there cannot be security, there cannot be peace. Because when there are two, there is space in between. Otherwise, there are no two. Anything conditioned by space is finite. How can you have security in finite? How can you go beyond comparisons in security when there is another one? If there is another one, there is insecurity. There is comparison. There is comparison. How can there be peace in the realm of comparison? So as long as you recognize the other, there cannot be security and happiness. This is what we thought in Brudharinika. Yatra na anyat bhavati na anyat sunoti na anyat pashyati na anyat sunoti na anyat grunati tad bhuma tad amrutam tad sukham where there is nothing else that is bhuma the biggest infinite that sukham, that is happiness. That's infinite. Amrutam immortal. Sukham, happiness. Yatra anyat pashyati, anyat sunoti, anyat grunati, tad alpam. Yad alpam, tad martyam. Right? Tad asukham. Where there is another, it is finite. Alpam means finite. Which is finite, it is mortal, it is sorrowful. So the solution is, you alone should be there in the world, nothing else should be there. Oh, that is so much of selfishness. Yes, our Shastras say, be selfish. Our Shastras say, be selfish. Our Shastras say, you are not selfish enough. Our Shastras say, you are not selfish enough. Be selfish. Then only you will know yourself alone is all this world and therefore you alone are there. The essence in me is the essence in you. The cover in me is, or the five elements the same in you. The cover is also the same in you. And this cover is nothing but my own expressions. Therefore, the para, the essence in all of us, is me. The apara is also me. Where the para and apara have only transactional value, but no intrinsic reality. Para, the essence in all. Apara, the elements are also my own expressions. Where is the other? This knowledge alone can save you from comparisons, from security, from agitations. This knowledge alone can be whatever may be your situation. Whatever may be your situation, you can feel secure. Whatever can be the situation, you can feel secure. Only this knowledge, there is no other solution. So, the whole Manduka says there is nothing other than you. Know this. Know this truth. And it says, I referred that last week also in the beginning. So now also, that's the most important thing that you have to recognize. 
निवृत्ते सर्वदुखान प्रभु अव्यय अद्वैत सर्वभाव्यो विभु स्मृत देव दिवैन लॉर्ड विभु हॉल पर्वेण ईशान दि लॉ दि वन हू गवर्न दि वर्ल्ड अव्यय इंपरिशिबल Knowing that Advaitam Snuvrute Sarva Dukkha Nam, that's the only cause for cessation of all your sorrows. So therefore, you have to know what is Advaita. How can I know what is Advaita? It's not true. I am different. He is different. He is different. Everybody is different. And Swami is there in the dining hall. I just saw each Swami is different. They are asking you, Sami. Each Sami is different, and each school of thought is different. Each religion is different. Where is Advaita? In me also, mouth is different, nose is different, ears are different, eye is different. Where is Advaita? Mouth is different, eyes are different. Ears are different, nose are different, nose is different. All of them are created by me to serve me. I am the truth in all of them. I am the truth in all of them. I am the truth in all of them. I am the truth in all the swamis, asamis, everywhere. Without this knowledge, you cannot. Get over insecurity and comparison. As long as there is comparison, you cannot be peaceful. Even in gods, where there is comparison, they plot against each other. A lot of cinemas have come in our days. Fight between Lakshmi Saraswati, fight between Krishna Rama also. Right? They used to make lot of stories on their own imagination, and people have not read Shastras. So they used to plot, right? And shastras, you know also what happens. Sri Vishnu, Veda Vyasa have three instances at least. In one place he says something, in another place he says something else. For example, I give you uh, uh, one simple example. In one place he says, "Krishna killed." Panchajana, the Rakshasa, and God Panchajanyam. In another place, he says Krishna killed him. He didn't find the boy, son, Sandipani's son. In one place, he says he killed Panchajanya and got the son. In another place, he killed him, but he didn't see him. Another thing, in Machavita. In one place, it says that Bhagavan himself had become Hayakriva and killed Madhukaitava. In another place, it says Hayakriva is a Rakshasa whom Bhagavan killed as Varaha. You understand? Shankaras had four disciples. Four of them, the four different schools. Right? Why masters do this? Because they have no value for all this. They are using stories only for you to take beyond the stories. They don't have a value for this. You understand? You and I only break our heads, right? So where is Advaita in the relative field? Understanding the relative dvaita is nothing but advaita so expressions. Wave is not bubble. Bubble is not foam. All the three put together is not ocean, but all of them are the advaita water. Advaita water. So advaita is not direct of dvaita. Advaita is in spite of Dvaita. Is in spite of Dvaita. That's why Bhagavata. Bhagavata says, Vedanta Saram. 
ವೇದಾಂತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಆತ್ಮ ಏಕ ರಕ್ಷಣ ದಿ ಹೋಲ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಗಿವ್ ದಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸಾರ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಆತ್ಮ ಏಕ ರಕ್ಷಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ಸೀನ್ ಅದ್ವೈತಂ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅವರ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಮನ್ ಮಂಡೂಕ ಋಷಿ makes it very simple because the more i talk the more you will get confused you understand manduka rishi says i will put it simple if you are clever enough one mantra is enough first mantra otherwise go up to seven that is enough if you are not that clever take another five to do upasana to do upasana short because that's the way to be precise that's the way the more you talk the more you dilute the more contradictions the more contradictions so here he says whatever is there is advaita i see differences i give you an example om is all this om is a all this telling sir one word three letter if you split also three letters can it be all this it, i will not only give you logic i will i will make you see it is all that it's not om is not mere logic om will convey to the truth give you the experience let me start be even before splitting oh if i go on to saying this forever you won't even recognize whom because it will if you want to recognize before there has to be silence in between there has to be silence so what was before what was later is the essence of what is in the middle what is before what is later is the essence of what is in between gold was before after the dissolving the ornaments gold is the essence so what are the ornaments nothing but gold only right so silence is the essence of om and silence you withdraw from all the names and forms because it's i said om can't put them all in om then observe om because it's all you will discover om dissolves in you leaving pure consciousness when you observe om you have again seen om to be an object you to be different and in that knowledge of you the om all thoughts merge even om merges and what is there is only you the silence what is there is only you the silence that too difficult to understand okay are you awake yes will you go to sleep tonight depends right this man was on giving me messages at 1 o'clock in the next is he tells i don't know when he sleeps at least i i get up at 9 he this man cannot afford to get up at 9 right go to sleep so full sleep sound sleep sound sleep i do because snoring without dreams no sometimes dreams do come right dreams do come do you remember the dreams yes in the dream who were you i was the president of america elected 
in the dream. I remember. In sleep, both the ordinary man and president are not there. Do you remember sleep? That you didn't have anything? Yes. You remember the waker. Waker is not there in the dream. You remember the dreamer. Dreamer is not there in the waker because dreamer is president. Waker is a beggar. Right? So dreamer is not there in the waker. Waker is not there in the dream. Both are not there in the sleep. You remember all the three. You have to be different from all the three. And they bring forth from you, existed in you, much back into you. So the pee, waking, dreamer, deep sleeper is the essence of you, the fourth Turiya. These three, for you to contemplate, I shall give a name to these three. I is the name for waking, who is the name for dream, Im is the name for deep sleep. Now, you chant, ah, ooh, um. when you chant, you should be aware I am passing from waking to dream, dream to deep sleep. So when you are chanting, I am passing from waking to dream to deep sleep. You are conscious of the one who is passing through the waking, dream and deep sleep. That is the essence, that is the truth, that is the fourth. So the chanting, if you chant in a particular way, becomes vipassana and you can recognize yourself. Merely ah, uma, it's difficult. But when you chant ah, you should remember it is waking. Go to you, you should remember dream. I am sliding from waking to dream. I am sliding from dream to deep sleep. And after that, I will become a zero. I still exist. I was there earlier. I, I am there later. This is me who supports the waking dream and deep sleep. This is me who supports the waking dream and deep sleep. This is me who supports the good, bad and ugly. This is me who supports Sattva Rajo Pramogunas. Right? So to know that truth is so simple, you know, Everything is existence because everything exists. So existence was prior to all these things. They alone have become this. You can understand. And so therefore everything is existence. That are people who are involved in material world, people who are involved in material world cannot understand. They can only understand through examples, through stories. Therefore they contemplate. Otherwise, it's so simple. Everything exists. So existence supports. So therefore, existence was before and later. So this should be existence only in a name and a form. It's not so difficult to understand. And this existence is in our consciousness. Your consciousness supports this existence. Not difficult. And existence lives. Lives means consciousness. Consciousness exists. Therefore, existence and consciousness are not two different things. Existence lives. Consciousness exists. So they are not two different things. Not difficult. But how can a man who is who obsessed, his mind is all the time in useless material things, understand? He is not available. He is not available. Is not available. So therefore, they give examples which you can understand from known to unknown. Waking you can understand, dream you can understand, deep sleep you can understand, ah you can understand, who you can understand, yes, him you can understand. So through what you know, they make you recognize what you are not aware, the silence. 
and the common principle who has experienced waking dream and deep sleep, who did not change with them, who was there in all the three states, but he did not change and make you realize what you are. And having realized you are that, thereafter you will know that all springs from me, the waking springs from me, dream springs from me, deep sleep springs from me, because in sleep there, there's nothing. From that alone the waking comes. From the waking alone sleep comes. From sleep alone dream comes. You have to reverse. Without going to sleep you cannot come to dream. That needs special capacity. You have to sleep and then only you can come to dream. So therefore, this Upanishad said, Om is all this. Om is all this. Advaita is the truth of that. And when you know Advaita, Nivrutte, Sarvatukkana, all your sorrows have gone. And you come Ishwara, Immaktari. Right? And now that is all to be brought out into a formal stage. Einstein, all the science he has used to come to the formula E is equal to mc square. If he talks all the science, you and I won't understand. E is equal to mc square. In MC square, a little you can understand, then applying your mind you can understand because E is equal to MC square, energy is mass and velocity. You can understand when I throw a ball, it hits you because it got the energy, the ball, mass plus velocity. That is the simple formula because we splitting the atoms, atom bombs, energy. Because veracity. So E is equal to MC square, or, or even ordinary people like us can understand, can quantum. So therefore, they gave the formula Avu Ma and all that. And now that I want more precise, because Bruda and like I said, you are going on talking so many things. Who is Brahman? A cow which has four 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 legs, this, that, and all that. You are not directly telling me about Brahman. Directly, words can only talk. Gurudev's commentary is beautiful, you read it. Gurudev's commentary is extraordinary, you read it, you will understand. I will read his own words because he, nobody can surpass him in that. So why should I pollute with my language? Substance is in natural sciences. Describes as that which has proper things. Substances are always finite. Substance has proper things. Otherwise, how will you distinguish one substance from another substance? And when any property is there, that's finite. Even our properties were finite. We have made so careful investment, they are not finite. No, they won't be finite. You have to leave it. You have to leave it. So properties are finite. In case we describe the supreme reality as having any property, certainly we will thereby pulling down the infinite to the finite level. You try to describe the infinite, you can only describe it properties. You bring down that to a substance finite. You cannot do. So where is the thing? Negate all that is finite. Negate all that is object. And what remains is the subject, you, the infinite. The whole world is nothing but a subject-object relationship. What is an object seen? What is the subject seer? All seen you remove. What remains is the seer, the subject. All that you can remove, negate. That's why Brudharanika said, this very famous word is from Brudharanika. Neti, neti, neti. Naiti, naiti, naiti. That's how anything that comes, naiti. Because I am seeing. Naiti. 
हाउस नहीं देती हस्बैंड नहीं देती फादर नहीं देती बॉडी नहीं देती आई एम सी माइंड नहीं देती राइट इंटेलेक्ट नहीं देती देन हु आर यू आफ्टर सेइंग नहीं देती नहीं देती स्टिल आई रिमेन यू नो द वन हु सेस नहीं देती नहीं देती नहीं देती दैट इज मी इन दैट आई एम इज देयर अ डिफरेंस आई एम एम चंद्र बोल you are sarvanan when you say you say i am sarvanan i say i am hemachandu i am is common sarvanan is a name hemachandu is a name okay right? name belongs to properties my body mind and intellect not to me the i am in i am there are no properties so therefore negation is the way to arrive at the seer negating all that is seen and known so this seventh mantra gurudev said memorize it because it gives negation and assertion assertion of what you are negating what you are not assertion of what you are right na anta prakna Uh, sir you said you will chant enchanting man come on na anta pragyan na bhati pragyan na bhayata pragyan na pragyan na na pragyan adrishnam adrishnam avyapaya adrayam alakshanam achinyam avyapadesham ekana pratyena sadham kapancho prasnam सीन इन I am not what is seen in the dream. Na cha ubhaya ta pragnum. Some people, all of us also, it happens sometimes when you are too tired, too too tired. You may be sitting, but your consciousness is in two planes. You are seeing, you are talking, but your consciousness is drowsy. In two planes, it it happens rarely, but it does happen. it doesn't happen for all and all the time because you have to reach that state of too depressed and too tired too depressed and too tired so ubhayata pragnam experiencing this and that i am not that also na pragnana ganam mass of consciousness in sleep mass of consciousness in sleep Not pregnant. A lot of students are awake in dream deep sleep. Simple, not consciousness, sir. Not consciousness, sir. Consciousness, sir. Not consciousness. Up, all over now. Simple consciousness, sir. Not consciousness. Up, all over now. Up, not only that. I am not two people. Two people are not there. Not only that. When you say simple consciousness. it's always with reference to the opposite and this is advaita so na pragnam na apragnam i am neither simple consciousness or unconscious because i am conscious of the unconsciousness also na onnum therla sir nalla thomana sir right so na apragnam adrishtam cannot be seen cannot be seen why the objects are seen by the seer the seer when it object tries to see i am the subject you are the object now i want to see me i have to objectify please understand when i have to see myself i have to objectify 
If I objectify, there is no seer to see. I gave the principle for you to do contemplation. A simple example I will give, but examples, sometimes you stick to that, you do not do manana. So I give the tough thing first and then give you examples. Right? You are using a torch. The child says, Appa, how is this torch? No, there are cells in that. Appa, it's too dark. You are using, Appa, remove that and show me the cells. You remove the cells, you cannot see. The seer is removed. You cannot see also. Telescope, you are seeing several things. You want to see the seer. He becomes the object. There is no seer there. Thoughts are seen by my consciousness. If my consciousness comes before thoughts, thoughts are dead. There is no, thoughts cannot see. Thoughts cannot see. Therefore, adrushtam. It cannot be seen. Avdhyavahatyam. It cannot be transacted. Transaction are all only in names and forms. Not in consciousness. Avdhyavahatyam. Agrahyam. It cannot, uh, it cannot be captured. It cannot be caught. It cannot be uh, uh, it, it cannot be felt as an object. Agrahyam. Alakshanam. There is no way to give you ID marks. It cannot be described. Lakshanam means through which you can identify something. It's called a Lakshanam. Alakshanum, it has no ID mark because it alone is there. Alakshanum. Achintyam, it cannot be thought of. Already I told you how thoughts cannot reach there. Avyapadeshyam, it cannot be described. Yeka Atma Pratyaya Saram. Yeka Atma Pratyaya What is it? Essentially, the one self in all, the consciousness. Yeka Atma Pratyaya Saram. So, Tell me something through which I can recognize that. Something concrete. You said everything negation. Something concrete. Prapancho Pashamam, into which all the objective world merges. Prapancha Upashamam, Prapancha Panchabhutas. From them, Pancha Karmendriyas, Pancha Gnanendriyas. Pancha prana, pranas. So the whole world is pancha, pancha, pancha. Therefore, it's called prapancha. Where the prapancha merges, that still you have not told me. You are only going on negating. Yes. You try this. You try to merge everything into consciousness. See what it is there. Your peaceful shantam. You are that immortal self, Shivam. You are alone there, Advaitam. I can lead you. I can lead you up to that. After that, you have to enter. I can lead you through negation. You are not this, you are not this, you are not this. And when you have negated all this, it's not a zero. What is there? Shantam, peaceful state. Shivam, auspicious. Advaitam non dual Shantam, Shivam. So you don't say we have escaping the problem by trying to describe the not possible. No, we are giving you clues to negate. After that, you can discover what you are. It's not escaping the problem. Shantam, Shivam, Advaitam. Chaturdham, Manyanti. With reference to the waking dream and deep sleep, three, it's called Chaturdham. It's not Chaturdham. It's not Turiyam. Chaturdham is a number. 
Turiyam is four, not a number, but with reference to the three, you can consider it as Chaturdham. Therefore, Chaturdham Manyante Saatma, that is the essence, Savikneya, that should be known. Why? Nivrutte Sarvadukkanam. For eradication of all ever sorrows. No other choice. No other choice. I will learn 100 billions. Do. It will be useful to people. But it cannot save you. I will become popular. You can. But it cannot save you. I go to the gym. Yes, you can become healthy. But it cannot save you. Because what has to be saved doesn't need saving. What has to be saved doesn't need saving. Hmm. This has to be known. Right? And then, what is the time, sir? Good time? Oh, it's a watch is there. I can see you. Nivrutte sarvadukkanam ishanaha prabhuravyaha advaitam sarvabhavanam devaha tubyo vivahu sutaha. What is this tulya? What is this chetuddha? That which governs all your experiences. Your waking, dream, deep sleep cannot be experienced without that. It governs everything. Prabhu, it's the Lord. It's the one who wills. And it is the one uh, Abhyaha, imperishable, Ishanaha, Turjaha, Vibhu, all pervading. It pervades your waking, it pervades your dream, it pervades your deep sleep. It remains after the waking dream and deep sleep. It was there before the waking dream deeps. That means before you took the avatara, body. Before you became the body, it was there. In and through the body, waking, dream, deep sleep, it is there. After you realize, it is there. And therefore, vibhuhu, all pervading. Therefore, vibhuhu, all pervading. See, I use this because this word I am going to use, nobody will use it in a class like this. And I did it for youth in 1985. I will still use it. I don't mind you people. Tomorrow put in Dindima, Hemachandrudu is no more in Chimya Mission. I do not mind. Right? I do not mind. This Shastra reading, if you get involved, it's a romance. This Shastra, such a beautiful thing, it's a romance. See the way in which they say, Karya Karana Bhattu Tau Ishyete Vishwataitasau Ragnaha Karana Bhattyasya Vau Tau Tubye Nat Tidyataha Vekha and dreamer are conditioned by the cause and effect. What is the cause? What is the cause of every ego and my ego, my individuality, your individuality? Not knowing that we are that Advaita. Ignorance is the cause. And therefore, the effects, individuality, the bodies. And this cause covers the truth. So in the waking and dream, you and I are, are uh, conditioned by the cause and effect. Cause is karya, karana, effect is karya. Karana is ignorance, non-apprehension of reality. Karya, the effects, bodies, misapprehension of the reality. So read Gurudev, nobody can give you such commentary. So simple, so beautiful, such terse subjects. He uses simple word. Non-apprehension of reality. Avarana causes misapprehension of reality with Chepa. Two expressions of Avidya. Avarana and 
So Karya Karana Badhau Tau. Tau means dual. Vekaran Dhima. Both are conditioned by cause and effect, ignorance and the equipments. Karya Karana Badhau Tau Ishyere Vishwataita Sau. Praknaha Karana Badhastu. In deep sleep, there is only ignorance. There is only consciousness plus ignorance of consciousness. There is no uh, karya. You are not conscious of the karya. Only karana, ignorance is there. Non apprehension alone is there. In deep sleep, non apprehension alone is there. In waking and dream sleep, then dream, non apprehension and misapprehension in consciousness, none of the three are there. Turye na siddhyataha, gau, 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 those two. What are the two? Non apprehension and misapprehension. Karya, karan, tau, gau, na vidyate. These two are not there. Swamiji says somewhere, two beautiful sentences you remember. It will come next to one or two. They are all equally same, both sleep. And Samadhi. In both, you are not conscious of anything. But what is the difference? In sleep, you are not aware of the presence of objects. If you are sleeping here, you are not aware of the presence of objects. In Samadhi, you are aware of the absence of objects. There is nothing other than me. In sleep, you are not aware of the presence of objects. They are all there, you are not aware. In Samadhi, they are not there and you are aware of that. You are aware of the absence of things because they are all me. That is the difference between Samadhi and sleep. So what I should do? Bring the state of sleep into waking. That is Samadhi. Bring the state of waking into sleep, sleep, sleep into waking. How to do that? What is sleep? Where everything is negated. Negate everything from your mind. Withdraw all the seer. Remain as the seen. That is Samadhi. That is, I should be all the time doing, not necessary. Once you do, it's enough. Lot of people have lot of misunderstanding about the Samadhi. I'm gone practicing. What you have to practice to know you are the self and consciousness. Just Guru's grace, one second you can feel what it is. After that, how can you ever get confused? You are not that. You can do all Vavahara. You can do all nonsense. But yet you cannot forget you are that consciousness. So you don't have to do, go on practicing Samadhi. You know it once, that's enough. If you want to be more confused, read Astravakra Gita. See? He does, he doesn't even accept meditation. Meditating on what? He asks. Right? But we need it. Don't worry. You don't uh, stop all those things. Because that alone will take us to that state where you can boldly say, I don't need meditation too. Right? So, the next one. So remember the two words, non-apprehension and misapprehension. Non-apprehension is karma, misapprehension is karya. Vaitasya agrahanam tulyam ubayoho pragna tulyayoho. The grasping of duality is common. Duality is not there in both. Pragna turya in sleep and Samadhi. In both, there is no duality. If anybody has doubt, ask me. Because it is such a beautiful this thing. You can't have doubts and go. Get clarified. Right? Dvaitasya agraham tulyam ubayoho pragna tulkiryoho This common factor between sleep and Samadhi is 
not grasping duality, but there is a difference. Be the nidra yutaha pragna. The pragna, the sleep one, has the seed ignorance. The seed ignorance. Right? Whereas, Turya Navidyate, in Turya, there is no ignorance. In sleep, consciousness alone is there. You have withdrawn from consciousness. And you do not know you are that what is there. So, that seed ignorance is there. In Samadhi, you are conscious of the consciousness and you know you are not the individual. Right? What more you want, sir? Two, three mantras meditate. Two, three, sir. Enough, sir. Two, three you meditate. And how many has said? That is because he is, he is so confident about our stupidity. Sopna nidraya yohu pragnaha sopna nidraya. Pragnaha asopna nidraya. Prasopna nidraita nidraita adyahu. In the first two, waking and dream, the in the waking and dream, Sopna nidraita, the first. Two are associated. The Vishwa and Taitasa. The Vishwa and Taitasa. What is suddenly you are bringing two terms? We have done earlier, but now I tell you again. The waker, the waker is called Vishwa. The dreamer is called Taitasa. The dreamer is called Taitasa. So what is the total vekar? We are done earlier, I think. It's called virat. It's called virat. Total mind or total dreamer? Hirinagar. Individual ignorance? Pragna. Total no ignorance, but totally he Uses and covered by Mola Prakriti. Mola Prakriti. He is called Ishwara. What is the difference between Pragna and Ishwara? Pragna is a slave of Avidya. Ishwara is Maya Dipati. He uses Maya as Mola Prakriti. Sapna Nidraita Vadya, these two are conditioned by Vishwan Tigers by dream and sleep. In Pragna, in Pragna, it's a sleep without a dream. It's a sleep without a dream. In waking, in waking, also dream is not there. So why you say only sleep? Waking according to Manvikya, we'll come to that when we come to Vaitaitya Prakaram. According to Manvikya, waking is nothing but an extended dream. Waking is nothing but an extended dream. How? Just wait till we come to the next thing. Gaudapada very clearly takes one by one doubt how dream cannot be waking and clearly explains how. how Waking and dream are the same. Waking is an extended dream. There are some differences. It says, it says, status is exactly like dream, but there are small differences. Differences are in waking, you see through these senses. In sleep, you see through the inner senses, not the outer senses. I, I, when I come to that, we'll talk. So, from Turya, Pashyanti, Nishchataha. And in Turya, the fourth stage, 
neither dream nor sleep or there. Right? Vishwa Tejas, you have dream and sleep. In Turiya, neither Vishwa nor Tejas, nor waking, nor dream, nor deep sleep. All the three are not there. He didn't in this loka tell anything about waker. He only said Sopna Nidra only two he is used. Dreamer and sleeper. Why? Because he says this is Gaudapada. His attitude is beautiful. He has contempt for us. He says Sopna is nothing but waking, so I don't have to use two words. I don't have to use two words. Anyata prasnataha sopnaha nidra tattva nagyanataha vipargiyasi tayoho chine turiyam paramatmite padamasmite anyata prasnataha misapprehension is sopna misapprehension is sopna Nitra tatta majantaha. Sleep, non apprehension. Viparyase, eh, when these two are not there, Viparyase disappears. These two, what two? Non apprehension and misapprehension. Chine, turiyam padamasmute. You experience the turiya pada. He said, Four padas, four padas. First pada, waking. Second pada, dream. Third pada, deep sleep. And with reference to the dream, it's called the fourth pada, but it's not the fourth pada. And in the fourth pada, Turiya, these three are not there. These three are not there. Anadi maya sutto yadaha jivaha pradutyate. This true, this Advaita, this non-duality, this Godhood, when shall I experience? He says, Anadi Maya Suttaha. From the beginningless Maya, you have been sleepy. From the beginningless Maya, you have been sleeping. Wake up! Yada Jivaha Prabhupada, when you wake up, when you wake up, Ajam, Anidram, Ajam, unborn, Anidram, that which does not sleep, Advaitam, the consciousness, Buddhyate is recognized. Anadi Maya, the waker and the dreamer, has been subject to beginningless and endless Maya. But once you wake up, some dream, all the plurality is not there. Similarly, when you wake up to that reality, when you wake up to that reality, all this plurality is not there. Ajam, unborn, anidram, which does not sleep. Does your consciousness sleep when you sleep? If your consciousness sleeps when you sleep, that's the last time you have slept. Right? Anidram. Ajam, right? It doesn't sleep. It's unbound. Buddhyate Tadaha. When you wake up to this reality, Ajam Anitram, Aswapnam, dream, Advaitam, non dual, Buddhyate Tadaha is recognized. So much logic, sir. Where is the time? Very simple. You've been awake? Yes. You go to sleep? Yes. You dream? Yes. You woke up? You are a waker? You are a dreamer? You are a deep sleep? Waker is not dreamer. Both are not sleep. See what is common between them. You don't need any other book if you can only see this and feel this truth. That which is common in waking dream and deep sleep is you.
विकल्पो विनिवर्तेत प्रपंचो यदि विद्येत निवर्तेत न संशय माया मात्र मिदम द्वैतम अद्वैतम परमात्मा इफ दिस ड्यूएलिटी इज रियली देयर और इज इमेजिन आर सुपर इंपोज इट हैज टू वैनिश इफ देयर इज अ गोस्ट ऑन द पोस्ट और अ स्नेक ऑन द रोप इट हैज टू वैनिश when you know the truth because it's superimposed it's not there once you bring light the snake has to vanish once you know the truth the world has to vanish since the snake the rope doesn't vanish rope is the truth snake is the falsehood world doesn't vanish so the world is truth yes according to both pada world is an expression of the law world is an expression of the law jeevo brahma eva na aparaha vikalpo nivartyeta kalpito idi kena chit upadesha dayam bodo gnate dvaitam navi all these differences have been taught the baker dreamer deep sleeper the guru shishya and all that for teaching but in reality they are not there neither the waker dreamer deep sleeper nor the guru nor shishya nothing is there only advaitam is there but you are imagining gurudev gave a lovely example when he was taking mandakopanishad the one very rich queen in lucknow because he studied there he remembered that right rich queen said uh, i have migraine all doctors in the world said Give medicines; it doesn't get cured. Then one is Swami's language only. I should say you will enjoy. One intelligent South Indian doctor went. He said, "Amma, I have a cure for. What? I have a medicine in this particular shop in London. You get that, apply it forty days, and you will get cured." This is why South Indians are intelligent. Amma says. This is why, Mama, just don't get up. It's a breathing. Just don't enjoy. <laughs> Sometimes we'll reverse also. <laughs> we'll reverse also, right? Oh, he is also there. We don't accept you as an art Indian. And all our people are not that. So. the lady said this is why we say these people are intelligent and uh, he told his friend in london same water in a bottle water in a bottle to this address and it comes he says amma use it for how it is he is tend sir so much of improvement sir 20 half gone sir 30 70 40 days totally gone sir why This is was imagined by her. Even if it is imagined, you only have to give her an imaginary cure. Otherwise, it will not work. If the disease is even imagined, you have to give a imaginary cure, and therefore that was suggested. So this vikalpa is not there, but for upadesha, for you people to be taught and to wake up, this has to be. given supnasthana taijasah utaro ditiya matro matyo there is something before yeah now the this thing is ended up to this portion seventh before he enters the eighth karika is ended Now eighth and ninth again Upanishad start. I now don't have to worry because in the beginning itself I said I'm not going to complete before January so I can take it easy. So eighth and ninth mantras we'll see. For this one job, but fellow was not sleeping whole night. Wife went and asked, "Why are you not sleeping? Tomorrow morning, next door man, I have to give fifty lakhs. I don't have it." 
you know, it's a case, court case. I don't have it. That's all. The wife opened the window and shouted at the next door man. Is it true my husband owes you 50 lakhs? Yes. He has to give you by tomorrow? Yes. He doesn't have it. Close the windows. And now that man is not sleeping. She said, you sleep. <laughs> she said, you sleep. Yes. Om Shri Chinmaya Sadgurave. <laughs>